There's nothing that doesn't remind me of him. Everywhere I look, everything I see, and all the time I'm congratulating myself on how well I'm doing, how brave I've been. But all the time, in the back of my mind, there's this little voice saying, if I just sit it out, if I hold on, if I wait for long enough, just quietly and with patience, get over it. What? You owe it to yourself. Get over it. Don't you think I want to get over it? Do you think I'd give absolutely anything to stop going over and over it, reliving every minute of it? God, do you think I want some peace from it? I just think you're stronger than you're being. Did Jack send you here? What? Jack, did he send you? Jack thinks I'm at Ikea. What? Late night shopping. Ikea? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Buying a flat pack wardrobe. Oh, lovely. Will Jack assemble it? I hope so. Jack can assemble a fucking kinder surprise. Well, we'll see. Judith, last night, won't he wonder where it is? Or will you just tell him it's extremely flat? Maybe I'll head to Ikea afterwards. After what? After we've discussed last night. Go on then. You're timing me? <laughs> That's it, Ros. It's like countdown. If you make it out of here alive, you get a flat pack fucking wardrobe. It's for the oven, for the chicken. I fantasized about this, you know, meeting you. Really? Uh. On the tube, usually. I mean, that's where I imagine it happening. On the Northern Line, usually around about Camden. You get on, I'm already there. You're with Jack. You sit opposite each other and you're laughing. Then this woman offers to swap so you can sit next to each other because you both so clearly want to. And then Jack sees me. He stops laughing, nudges you and whispers in your ear and you look up and the laughter goes out of your eyes too. And we just sit and look at each other, the three of us. Every day I sit on the tube with my eyes shut for fear that'll happen. Only I half want it to happen. I wait for it to happen. I'm usually on the district and circle. The point is, it wasn't meant to happen until I was ready looking terrific and everything in my life it would be great my eyes wouldn't be red or tired and my face wouldn't ache and i'd know where i was going because there'd be somewhere i had to be and you you'd envy me and jack if he was with you he'd be sorry he'd be so bloody sorry he ever swapped me for you You'd be fat. You're not. Sorry, you should be. What, sorry or fat? Both. Guilt-wracked and fucking obese.